Hey guys and welcome back for another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this really cute cork half boom pouch. So this is my second time making this video. I made one about a year and a half ago and that video is just a hot mess. So I thought that I would remake it and make it out of this beautiful cork fabric. This fabric is courtesy of MM Cork Supply. They are a Canadian cork fabric supplier and they have a lot of beautiful choices. So if you're looking to source some amazing cork fabric, I would definitely check them out. I have those links in the description box below. So here is the pattern. I'll have the pattern at the blog post. I'll have two different sizes for you guys. So I'll have that in the information icon as well as down below. I'm gonna show you what the pattern looks like and how to cut it out. When you're using cork fabric, you can draw on the back. So I'm just gonna trace out my pattern because I'm going to be cutting it, I would cut this on the fold, but because it's cork and it's a lot more stiffer, I'm just gonna draw it directly onto the back and then mirror the pattern and then draw the other half of it. So if you're just using regular fabric, then you can of course just fold your fabric in half and make sure that flat edge is on the fold. But if you don't and you're using a stiffer fabric, you can do it just like this. If you are using a lighter weight fabric though, I do recommend using a medium to heavy weight interfacing just so that you can make sure your half moon pouch has some good rigidity and stands up on its own. So I'm using cotton for the lining and this is what I was saying this is how you would cut it when it's on the fold and then of course you would open it up and then you have your whole piece. So you're going to need one zipper and this zipper is going to need to stretch from the whole entire curve of one side. So this one which is the larger pouch was about 14 inches in length. I'm just going to mark the center of my zipper and then I'm going to take my two pattern pieces fold those in half lengthways and I'm going to mark the center point on each of the moons so the half moon portion <laughs> and I'm just using a sharpie I know that I'm not going to um, you're not going to see these parts when the bag is sewn so I don't mind using something permanent but if you are concerned you can use a erasable pen or just some chalk. So I'm going to do the same thing with the lining piece and then we'll work on installing one half of the zipper. So all those little marks we're just going to line them up with each other. So we're going to take the center of our zipper with the zipper pole facing the outer fabric and then we'll take the inner lining fabric and we'll put that with the right sides together with the outer fabric and we will line up that little notch. It's very important to do this step especially when we go to do the other side of the bag. If not you're going to have a really wonky half moon pouch. So I like to start from the center and then work my way down the one side of the moon and then the other side of the moon after that. I'm going to be using a ton of clips. If you're using fabric, you can use pins, but because I'm using the cork fabric, I don't like to pierce it. Um, so I just like to use these, um, these clips that I got off of Amazon. And, or if you don't have those, you can use binder clips. They have like little mini ones too. So yeah. So now I'm just gonna do the other side. <laughs> And like I said, I want to make sure that everything is lined up perfectly. This is really going to matter when the bag is done because you're going to see this zipper. That's going to be the main focus. Okay, so now you see I've used a billion clips, but that's okay. And I will use my zipper foot so I can get nice and close to that zipper and I will start sewing. And we'll go all the way around that half moon, taking the clips out as I go. So if you did use pins for this step, if you are brave, then you can of course just sew right over top of them. But I have never had a good experience with that. And the last time I did it, and I was trying to be brave, I totally snapped my needle off. 
So I don't know. Okay, so after that, as you can see, my zipper tape has curled a little bit. And to make it lay flat, I'm just going to snip little notches all along the curved edge. And then you'll see that it starts to lay flat. So you're gonna make sure you don't snip those stitches. So after that, then we will undo the zipper. So we're just gonna reach in undo the zipper and then we're gonna do the same thing we did on the other side by lining up that center notch and install the other side of the zipper if you have a zipper that fits perfectly then you're going to need to just pull the zipper over to the other side of the half moon and it might come together a little bit right here just because you're stretching that zipper over but it won't make a difference once the bag is constructed it's just at this part so I usually like to work with a longer zipper just so I don't have to worry about that but um, I had a zipper that fit pretty much perfectly actually <laughs> so again I'm just going to line up those little center points and then I will use all my clips again to just go around the curve and I just want to note that I do have a flower on my hand if you notice that um, my mother bought my daughter uh, tattoo pens. Uh, well, there's, they're, I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, I got, a, I got a flower. Anyway, all right. So I'm gonna keep going. I should have washed that off. This is bugging me. <laughs> and then of course, I'm not perfect. So as you can see, I ended up snipping it a little early just to get over that curve. And then I will snip some more notches into it. And then we will pick a hole, which is this one's the easiest side. And we're gonna turn the whole thing right side out. Once you turn it right side out, you want to inspect your zipper, make sure that it looks nice and even on both sides. And if it does, then we can do a top stitch along the curves on both sides. And I think it looks beautiful so far. So I just did a little test run, do up the zipper, make sure it looks good. And then we will do a top stitch. So I like to usually bump up my machine to a three for the top stitch. And I'm going to use my zipper foot still, but you could get away with your regular foot at this point. I just like how it sort of helps me. I have a little guide there, make sure that I'm following the edge and then I will go to the other side and do the same thing usually about one to two millimeters away from that edge looks best okay so this is how it looks I love it it really polishes up that edge when you do that top stitch and I'm very pleased with the way my top stitch has been looking. It only took me like 20 years to actually have a good top stitch. <laughs> so now I'm going to flip the whole bag inside out and do up the zipper. I'm going to now line up the zipper with the center of the bottom of the bag like this. So it's a little bit more stiffer with the um, cork fabric. It's a lot easier with regular fabric. It's just um, you just need to kind of tell it to, what to do and with the other side of the zipper that is open you're going to make sure that the zipper teeth are together and they're not apart so that when it is sewn then the zipper looks good on the outside so I'm just gonna do a little base stitch just to make sure my zipper stays into place for when I do my binding in the next step so I did that really close to the edge just enough just to make sure that everything is held into place so after that then you're just going to snip off the excess tape and of course make sure that your zipper pull was inside the bag you didn't end up sewing over top of that and now we will work on the binding the binding i did screw up and i'm trying to rectify it with a little clip 
from my expandable zipper pouch tutorial. Um, basically, I did all this right, but when I went to go apply the fabric, I should have opened it up. And you'll see in the clip that I put in the corner that I, I usually open the fabric. So it still worked the same way, but I just had less available fabric to fold over that raw edge in the next step. So just refer to the corner. If you haven't already seen the expandable zipper pouch, I would love it if you check that out also. I'll leave that link in the information icon too if you haven't already. But um, yeah, it still worked the same. It's just, like I said, I had less available fabric to work with. And then after I folded it over, then I would do a top stitch just to secure that down. And then that's it. Then you can turn it right sides out and you have a beautiful, adorable little makeup bag or essential oil pouch. It is so cute. Such a great gift idea. You can put vinyl on the side and personalize it. I love this. Like I said, the pattern will be over at the blog post which will be linked below as well as the information icon so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial of course subscribe and hit that notification bell and follow me over on the instagram and facebook where people love to share their finished projects and i love to share that with the community so everyone can have fun and sew together so thanks so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next tutorial bye guys